Hi everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts. I am gonna show you how I made this window picture frame. All right, so this is what you're gonna need for this project. You're gonna need four frames. Um, these picture frames I got from Dollar Tree. Um, four of the same. They don't have glass in them, but that's okay. And I got my gift bag. And then I am going to paint the frames white. Um, you're going to need some E6000 and a glue gun. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of these opened up and get the insides taken out. Okay, then I am going to get my bag cut right away. I'm going to... Um, you can actually just take off. Yep, take these strings off. All right, and then I am just gonna use this front part of the bag. You could actually make another one with the other side because it's the exact same on both sides. So I'm just gonna see about where my picture frames are gonna go. And I'm just using the inserts from the picture frames to measure out where I'm gonna cut. So. I definitely want to get this merry and bright in there. I want to make sure that's all in there. So that'll probably be about good. All right, so I am going to cut the sides of the bag and cut this across, and then I'll come back and we'll measure out where we're going to put these. I have one side of my bag all cut out, and then next thing I'm going to do is figure out placement. So as I can see, the lettering comes over really far here. So this is going to have to go all the way to the end of the bag. And we want, to be, want it to be at least right there, but I also don't want to, I want to get that snowman head in there. So we're going to go all the way over to this side. Line it up. And then I'm just going to butt the ends right up to there. Like that. And then I am going to grab a marker. Hopefully I'll see if this one works. And then just trace this so I know where to cut. off and then I am going to cut this out first. All right, I have my bag cut out and now I'm just going to put these back on here and measure them out. Okay, then I'm going to take those off and grab my marker again and just put a small little line right down there and then put this one back on and then draw my line going this way all right then I'm going to cut the four squares out all right, I have my four squares out. I'm just gonna stick these in here real quick. Make sure they fit and see how it looks. Okay, I got them all fit in there. I think it looks pretty good. So the next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to paint my frames white with this chalk paint. So let me get set up and I'm gonna start painting. All right, so I started painting. Um, this is definitely going to need quite a few coats of paint. So what I'm doing right now <clears throat> is I'm just painting the insides of the frames, as you can see. And then I'm going to paint three sides of it and then just the corner right here because our frames are actually going to get glued together. So the inside of the one side on each of them does not have to be painted. So I am going to go ahead and get one coat of paint around my frames and we'll see how that looks 
All right, first coat is on and you can definitely, I mean, you can see that pink yet. So obviously we're gonna have to put some more paint on there, but the first one that I painted <clears throat> is actually almost dry. So I'm probably just gonna start this one and then do the other ones in order of what I just did them. And hopefully it'll be dark enough with the second coat. Okay, so I have the second coat on, but I still can see the pink showing through, if you can see that. So I am gonna go ahead and put a third coat on, and then I'm just gonna call it after that. But just like I said before, the one side that we're gonna glue together, I didn't even bother painting. So just make sure you leave that one side open. It'll probably help with for gluing purposes too. I got the third coat on, and as you can see, I think the pink is pretty much gone now. So I'm gonna get a heater on these so that they can dry up and then we can glue them together. All right, I am all ready to start gluing my frames together. Um, I'm gonna use E6000. I'm also gonna use a hot glue gun. I don't trust just the hot glue alone, so. All right, I'm just gonna take some E6000 and kind of spread it on here. And then I'm going to take that glue gun and just put a drip down the middle. And then I'm going to put my frames up together. Try to make sure they're even. do the back. All right, I got my one done and now I'm going to do the other two. And what I realized is it's really late at night and I worked a full work day, so I wasn't thinking. There's actually two sides that you didn't have to paint. So if you went to, you didn't have to paint this side either because you have all four joining up. Sorry, it's, it's the night before Christmas Eve and... I have to work tomorrow and I had to work today, so I'm not thinking very clearly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these two glued together and then I'm gonna glue the whole thing together. All right, I have these two both glued together. Now I'm gonna do the big piece. Oh, that one's not quite dry yet. Well, let me get a little more glue on this one. I didn't quite make it with the hot glue in time. Just take that off. Put a little more on there. Flip this over. And then, whoop, flip that up and hold. little bit of glue on my fingers. <laughs> what now I'm realizing is I guess if I'm going to do this project again I'm probably going to glue the frames together and then paint the whole thing because I was looking at the one that I did over here and I had a little I got some little paint chips where the chip the paint chipped off from handling it. So if I am going to make this again or if you're going to make it I would go ahead and glue the frames together and then paint it. finally got my two sides glued to stay. I'm a little worried about the long side because you really have to put a lot of pressure on there to keep that glue together because the frames don't line up perfectly if you can see. So I'm a little worried about this one and being able to clamp the whole thing but we're gonna give it a shot. So just 
gonna put some dabs of the E6000 on there. Alright, and then we are gonna try the hot glue. Hopefully I have enough in my gun. Stick it on there quickly and squeeze. I wish I bought those chip clips, these chip clips here, and I thought they would be big enough to go around my frame, but they do not. That was the point was I was going to clamp it together so that it would stay. But they did not fit around the frame. They just kept popping off. And this little ledge here wasn't big enough to stick them on. All right. I am going to let this hopefully harden. And then what I'm going to do is there's some paint chips and stuff on the front. I'm going to go ahead and patch those up. And then I will continue, then I think we're going to put this in. I also have these lights here too that I bought that I was thinking about trying to <clears throat> put around the frame. So let me make sure this is sticking and nice and tight and then I'll come back. Okay, so I noticed my frame still isn't sticking quite a little bit in some spots. So I went looking through the house and I found these craft sticks. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple in here to try to support it a little bit better. But first I'm going to put my pictures in. Let's see. I'm trying to remember which way they go. Like that. All right. So... I was trying to figure out what to do with the lights too, but I just don't know how I can get them in there to look decent. And then the whole battery pack too. The battery pack, the switch is on one side and then the battery axis is on the other, so I can't really glue it on there. another picture frame that was pulling away. Um, I know once the E6000 dries, it'll stay just fine, but I'm impatient and I want to get my project done. So that's why I didn't wait till I, I should have waited till the E6000 dries, which is a couple days, but I'm impatient. <laughs> so what I did was I just kind of pulled the picture frames apart and I just squirted some hot glue in there to get it to stay for now. But it is looking really cute. Oh, yeah, that end's pulling away too. So I'm just going to squirt some hot glue in there. And then I think I'm going to just take some of those popsicle sticks and glue them on there and then just let it sit for a couple days till the E6000 underneath it dries. So if you're going to do this project, use the E6000 hot glue, clamp it together and let it sit, which I think it's like 72 hours or something like that. It's supposed to sit for the E6000 to dry. It's a little too good. But I am going to go ahead and try to glue a couple support popsicle sticks on here. Which, should I go there? Well, I'll do one in the middle and then maybe here and here. Um, and I lost my Q-tip. Well, there it is. Sorry. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put another one for sure here and here, maybe over here yet, I'm not sure. All right, so I put popsicle sticks pretty much on the whole back, or I shouldn't say popsicle sticks, they're craft sticks. I put them pretty much on the whole back and it feels like it's holding a lot better now, but yeah, besides some paint imperfections, which like I said, I probably should have waited, waited and painted it until after I glued it together, but oh, let me get you on camera there. But I think it looks pretty cute. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I was still trying to figure out if I could do something with these lights. I figured out that I could probably put some Velcro on the back, but I'm not sure how to put these lights in here or if they would even look good because they're purple. But I could string them up through there, but then you have to glue them in the window frame. And I just don't know if that'll look good with the hot glue on there. I'm trying to imagine it in my brain. Let me think about it for a little bit. All right, so I took a look at it and I decided against the light. I think that it looks really nice like this. So... There it is, my window picture picture frame I'm going to put on the mantle on my fireplace. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and saw mistakes that I made that you should not make when you make yours. Um, I hope that this tutorial helped you. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye.